Hi, it's Lisa, Rural America Girl. Welcome to my farm kitchen. Today we're going to make one of my very favorite meals, meatloaf. My mom used to make this a lot whenever I was growing up and I just loved it. So I'm going to see if I can make it the way she does. I don't know if I can or not, but I'm going to try. First of all, we're going to start off with some freshly ground beef. Now that's an advantage of living on the farm is being able to butcher your own beef. I had my slaughterhouse this time package my hamburger meat in a pound and a half. Now you can have it packaged however you like, but I found that a pound wasn't getting it around here anymore. I already had this hamburger meat thawed out. I had it in the ice box overnight. I'm gonna break it up in this handy dandy metal bowl mixing bow which I really like all right so that's the first step so I have a pound and a half of ground hamburger meat freshly ground hamburger meat and to that I'm going to add some salt and pepper which I already have mixed together here I'm going to add some chopped up onions in my handy dandy ziploc bag here and I've got a blog post on how I like to chop up my vegetables ahead of time for meals but this is a white onion I'm just gonna grab me a handful here so now with that onion I'm going to add I've got some red and green and yellow and orange bell peppers already chopped up I'm gonna take another like palm full of peppers and add them in as well now I've got my salt and my pepper, my ground beef, my onions, and my peppers all in this mixing bowl. Now what I'm going to do is crack two eggs. I just love farm fresh eggs. These are homegrown brown eggs from my little red hens outside. So I'm going to crack it in a bowl, one at a time just to make sure that everything looks good it's always a good idea to crack your eggs in a separate bowl before you put them in whatever you're baking a cake or whatever it is just so you won't have any problems so I'm gonna bust another one here that looks good thank you Miss Red Hen mom always put bread sometimes she used crackers just depending on what she had on hand so today I have salting crackers on hand and that's what I'm gonna put in here I don't like soggy bread Ooh, crackers but anyway this is a meatloaf it's supposed to be soggy look at this oh here we go I'm gonna put this meatloaf down into my pretty little meatloaf pan here is my meatloaf of course it's raw right now it's gonna be cooked in a minute but well not a minute it's gonna take an hour all right let's put the goodness on top of here what's the goodness a little bit of ketchup here we'll just throw it in this bowl right here mm -hmm. I don't know how much probably I don't know how much ever you want cup all right now I'm going to add some brown sugar I don't measure anything you'll find that well sometimes I do all right so I'm just gonna get a handful of brown sugar right I'm gonna grab my spoon over here and I'm gonna mix it all up I'm pretty sure ketchup already has brown sugar in it I don't know does it hmm. anyway I've added some brown sugar to this ketchup and I'm going to add it to the top of this meatloaf mm -mm -mm. this is the best part my son does not like it with ketchup I don't know why all right so now I have my meatloaf done doesn't that look pretty we'll find out we'll see how it tastes all right here we go I'm gonna stick it in the oven here we go now we wait 
the moment of truth to see how our meatloaf has turned out. It's time to get it out of the oven. Yahoo! Here it comes. The meatloaf we made earlier. There it is. It's still really, really hot because it's getting a pretty little white plate. Let's see if I can do this. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Not bad. I think my mom's is better though. But this will do. Mm -hmm. It is kind of good though.